Hello fellow Patriots and welcome back to the Patriot Dad channel where we can discuss current events, modern issues, and culture all while keeping it as real as possible. Today we're returning to Tom McDonald's catalog and going to a song that was after Dear Rappers in a song called Dear Slim. Now, just based entirely on the title of the song, I'm guessing that this song is directly targeted against Marshall Mathers, Eminem, Slim Shady, whatever you want to call him, who in the original Dear Rappers kind of seemed like somebody he was referring to, but as a very successful white rapper and somebody who's more mainstream, it makes a lot of sense that Tom McDonald might have something to say to the real Slim Shady. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that during the ramp up to the 2024 election, the Rogue Dermatologist and the Patriot Dad channel are collaborating to bring you another great deal. In remembrance of the attempt on Trump's life, if you follow the link to trumpmug24.com, It'll take you straight here. Scroll down, add it to your cart, go to checkout, enter the code PDMUG, and you'll save 20%. Take advantage of this offer while it's still available. Now, back to the video. So please make sure you support the channel by taking advantage of that mug offer, but also use our promo code when purchasing coffee brand coffee to put in that mug. Now let's get that song pulled up and get right into it, shall we? Here we go. Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me maybe Cause lately everywhere I turn someone's comparing us crazy I never would have thought when I was bumping Biggie and Pac That I would buy bleach in a box and become the product of shade but I Oh, okay, so looks like Biggie and Tupac might have been the target of the original Dear Rappers F in the chat, everybody Cause those two didn't make it out At least that's what everyone was being told I love the conspiracy theorists, by the way About Tupac still being alive on an island somewhere, guys Keep, keep it up But I can also see why a lot of people would compare Marshall Mathers with Tom McDonald Because they are successful white Rappers. Now, Tom has a lot more tattoos than Eminem does, but I could see. I'm here now. Hi, my name is Tom McDonald. People call me controversial. I'm the one that counterculture follows. Every song I drop's a problem. I offend an awful lot with topics commenting on race and politics. I'm pretty awesome. Dear Slim, I know we're very different. Hang on, we'll get, we'll get to that letter real quick. But yeah, overall, Tom's commentary in his songs, I think, is part of what makes him so successful, guys. He's constantly talking about real, current, cultural problems. And you know what? Some of them aren't even that current, but they still apply today, which tells you a lot about our culture, guys. We are not fixing the problems that we have. The things from seven years ago that he sings about, still a problem today. And what are we doing about it? With topics commenting on race and politics, I'm pretty awesome. Dear Slim, I know we're very different politically. Seems like some of your biggest fans are the victims I'm triggering. They're convinced I don't like you, which ain't consistent with history. I was picked on as a kid, and they don't know what Slim did for me. But I'm here now, and I fight the system just like you. Was addicted to pills and liquor and quit them just like you. People claim that you hate me, but Marshall, that can't be right, dude. You'd have to hate yourself as well, because Marshall, I'm you. Mar Oh, so he lists a bunch of stuff that Eminem has sung about, whether it's addiction to pills and alcohol, whether it's getting bullied and picked on, whether it's getting ridiculed as a rapper. Guys, like he said, he looked up to him. It makes a lot of sense because Eminem was in the game long before Tom was, and Tom probably grew up listening to him. So to have the supporters of somebody that you listen to and really enjoy coming after you like that has probably got to be kind of difficult. Let's keep going. Marshall. What was that, guys? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have been that funny. Slim, I thought that maybe because you paved the way for me, you might relate to weight that Caucasian rappers are carrying. They're constantly comparing us to you. It's embarrassing. Never gaining their approval. It's just hate we're inheriting. But I'm here now. Go ahead and hate it. Don't hurt. Call me culture vulture garbage. Those are ignorant words. I kill a vulture, cook the poultry in a pan till it's burnt. See, Marshall, I'm just like you. I'm flipping the bird. Dear Slim. Guys, if you want to see him flip the bird in more ways than you can even count, definitely check out his song, Everybody Needs Me. Have a reaction live on the channel or go check out the original. It's hilarious. I just want to give you your flowers. I spent hours memorizing. I love your songs in 2000. You were the reason I screamed it. All of my teachers, a teen, I needed your CD on repeat and Shady's face on my t-shirt. But I'm here now. They call me controversial just like you. We're both white, both rat, both of our eyes blue. Screw any guy who tries to say you changed and don't like you. Because in my mind, it's still 99. And I'm you.
Ooh, like I said, you probably grew up listening to him. I grew up listening to Eminem. Some of his records were always in the mix when it came to me playing music in my car. I had a 1969 Chevy Nova with a CD changer and a 10 inch subwoofer. You can laugh at me. I really enjoyed music from Eminem, Cottonmouth Kings, Beastie Boys, and also gangster rap guys. Mac 10, the West Side Connection rappers, Tupac, not really gangster rap, but hey, that's fine. Guys, I used to love this music too. But then the content of it just got so demeaning and derogatory and negative and trashy. I couldn't keep it up. It's part of why I really like that y'all introduced me to Tom McDonald, because I get to listen to rap again, and the lyrics are so much better. They actually have a real message behind them. So thank you, Hangover Gang. I always appreciate you. like you i don't give a what saying what i want with my fingers up everybody triggered and they think i suck but i don't give a what na 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 i don't give a what na 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 whether you love me or hate me or think I'm crazy Dropped a hundred grand to get a beat from Shady I really hope when I bought it he wasn't angry but i really had to tell him that he changed me wait dropped a hundred grand to get a beat from Shady so did he do this song after licensing a song so that he could use it? We'll have to go find that. That's really actually kind of interesting. Huh. Truth of the matter is, without you, Marshall Mathers, I would have committed suicide before I was a rapper. You showed me that I could do it. I didn't need to be black or I know it's stupid, but I just had to do my best to say thank you. Marshall, remember back when you became an and like I said, he listened to Marshall growing up and it actually kept him from self-deleting. That's high praise, guys. So whether you want to compare these two and pit them against each other, I think the message here is that Tom is saying we shouldn't be getting pitted against each other. I support you. I liked you. Sure, we're from a different part of the political spectrum, but guys, you can still appreciate the art. Yeah. You changed the world with a pen. Well, now I'm just like you. I don't give a white sand what I want with my fingers up. Everybody triggered and they think I suck. I do. Change the world with a pen. Do you? Well, now I'm just like you. I don't give a what, saying what I want with my fingers up. Everybody triggered and they think I suck. But I don't give a what, na 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 na. I don't give a what, na 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 na. And great work, as always, by Nova on the video. These two as a duo are so good. The Eminem show and many other albums back in the day, man, I really enjoyed them a lot. I wish that Tom had been around then because there were still plenty of messages to get across that were positive and applicable. We still had war. We still had bad politicians. We still had all the things that we have now. But man, if I had had Tom back then, I would have listened to him so much. And I might not have stopped listening to rap altogether. Thank you to those of you that made it to the end of the video. I greatly appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel in any other way, just follow some of the links down in the description. You can take advantage of that mug offer. You can take advantage of the poster offer. You can use our promo code on Coffee Brand Coffee. You can come over to the Discord and talk to us there. You can also come over to X and follow us there or subscribe for one dollar also some free options you can just like the video leave a comment one of those comments could be a recommendation for a future song or topic you want to see on the channel you could also leave us a comment about how eminem's music might have affected you as a child i'm sure that my parents really loved it when i played it quite loudly on my stereo in my room or in my car they probably didn't <laughs> so sorry about that mom and dad hopefully you'll forgive me hope you have a wonderful week everyone take care of yourselves and god bless Go ahead and check out one of the links on the screen now to either subscribe to the channel and see the rest of the videos of the channel or one of the carefully selected videos that you may wish to see that YouTube has used its algorithm to select for you.